Welcome back to the Urban Permaculture Garden. It's June 7th, and boy have we had lots of change and new plants and lots to show you. First off, strawberries. <laughs> the first ones that have turned, turned uh, red, starting to turn red. This one looks like he's ready. Look at that. First domesticated strawberries. Now they're not a very big variety, that's for sure, but I bet they're stinking delicious. I haven't tried one yet, so we're gonna do that. But yeah, these raspberries. Raspberries are doing really well. You can see we've had tons of flowers popping up, so we're gonna have tons of raspberries to eat. And uh, look at her. Check out our wild rose. Now we've been plucking a lot of the petals on our side of the fence for uh, all sorts of stuff. But uh, I'm gonna hop up up here and I'll show you what else is growing. Check out the uh, fever few. It's getting very tall. That's pretty exciting. There's our sumac right there, looking good. I had to cut the comfrey down, but it's coming back. They're starting to make their flower buds, but I'm going to end up cutting this back again, and then we are going to dry them and use them for cuts and scrapes on the skin. Look at the echinacea. It's gotten really tall. So I'm really hoping to get some echinacea flowers this year. And the currants are still green. You can see the berries there. But we're gonna have currants. That's pretty exciting. And we're gonna have lots of blueberries. You can see that they're starting, they've dropped their flowers. Yeah, we're gonna have lots of blueberries. I did a transplant um, the wild strawberries here to the uh, forest garden because I want them to start taking over along the ground for uh, the, to keep all these weeds out eventually. But it's just to help uh, do a low-line ground cover, kind of like this guy. But this guy's really, those strawberries are really tall. So hopefully I'm wanting them to spread all around. Yeah, we'll see how that goes as the years go on. And uh, the gooseberries, swamp gooseberry, are doing really, really well since I've blocked this off and I've piled lots of schmag and I've been watering them pretty heavily. So that's what they like. They like the wet feet. You'll find them in the wild uh, next to creeks and the valleys and stuff. You see the popcorn? Popcorn's popping up. <laughs> and uh, some other beans, the red beans. These red beans are doing good. Purple beans, I guess it should say. Um, yeah, you know, they're starting to come up. They're uh, adult leaves. So that's exciting. And uh, lots of random herbs are popping up. There's a Dames Rocket, our first Dames Rocket flowers. Super delicious, very pretty too. You can see our, how the sorrels are doing, getting really nice and tall. Gonna harvest their seeds, that's for sure. And lots of chamomile. It looks like dill, I know, but it's chamomile. Dill is right down there. Which is uh, very similar looking, but they're not even in the same family. So it's kind of cool. But I have other kind of wild mustard seeds that I brought here. These guys, I mean, they're, I don't really use the leaves, but they have really, really nice spicy seeds. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. I brought them over here from the wild. Oh, and I put some random okras here. And there are coming up. There's a few of them. They're kind of uh, sporadic. Not getting as much light as I think they want. They like that heat, but it's cool. See how that goes. Herbs are doing really, really well. With oxide daisies, look at that. They're starting their flowers. There's a banana mint. Banana mint coming up next to the wild peppermint. Lots of wild peppermint and catnip. I've been harvesting the catnip. The yarrow. It's blossomed. Look at that. Very nice. And the sage is doing good. So 
oregano, and I did plant lime basil in here. Lime basil. And yeah, we're getting sprouts from that. Check out the chickpeas. Now I don't know, I've never grown chickpeas before, so I don't know if this is, I mean, it's probably, there's probably too many in one pot. There's only four, but I'm excited to see how that's gonna grow. That's pretty different. So, and I planted uh, African dream root in here. The plant that helps you with dreams, as the name suggests. And we got a little, little guy coming up there. So that's pretty cool. Lots of pineapple weed. I cleaned up a lot of this. I harvested a lot of the narrow leaf plantain. It's in the herb dryer right now. So I use that for baths and more stuff for the skin. Salvias, uh, yeah, salvias. Not salvia divinorum, not in psychedelic. It's just literally for uh, attracting pollinators. I know they are medicinal, but I don't really use them for that. Uh, check out this bed too. We got uh, a cilantro that's just popped up. And they're growing really well. And look at all the mustard greens. Brassicas, I guess I should say, are doing very, very, very well. They're loving it. So I'm happy about that. And, uh, so far, so good on the uh, red onions. And, ooh, yeah. Lavender. But speaking about onions, check out what happened to the walking onions. And they just dropped dead. Pretty much all of them, except these ones. Um, this is uh, why you don't put all your eggs in one basket. Because if these, I've been keep, I've been keeping this, uh, these guys going year after year. But if they all die, I will be able to uh, continue their. Um, species I guess I would say in this garden so that strain at least I would have to get new ones but it's kind of too bad but fingers crossed these guys will stay alive and I'll have some to harvest for uh, planting next year but if not it is what it is right Our potatoes are doing fantastic they got over that blight really quick so they're doing all right no complaints with them. They're really happy. Oh yeah, I also planted the lion's ear right here. And it has some little sprouts coming up, so that's exciting. Happy about that. Really, really want to grow them. I'm wanting to try growing lion's ear for a long time, actually. Check out the zucchinis. Looking really nice. Looking awesome. And we also got the... Uh, the eggplants coming up in a few locations here. So I really hope the eggplants do good. They really like the warm weather. So we'll see how's, how it goes throughout the summer. Uh, these are all little weeds in here, but I put three beans in here. Let's see. The bean is start, starting to come up there. The other one's coming up there. That's kind of cool. Just, just for the heck of it, to see if they'll even grow in that little tiny container. Yeah, once again, mints for days. Look at all the chocolate mint. The chocolate mint's completely taken over this year in this garden. I mean, the wild mint is in there too, and the the lemon balm is kind of trying to get light, but the lemon balm is kind of popped up over here this time. I hope it does. Oh, it smells so good. I hope it does well. I'm just gonna let it grow as tall as possible. All the mints. I'm letting them grow until they uh, pop up their seeds while they start to flower and then I'll trim them all down. And we'll have tons and tons of chocolate mint to give away for Christmas and all sorts of stuff. Over here, check out these okras. They're looking really good. So that's exciting. Oh, see the okras. We got lion's ear, more of them, because I really want success. We have four sprouts coming up. And more dream root. We seem to have a little sprout there. 
seem to be harder to germinate. I hope they turn out. And I plant, I did plant some uh, cumin because I threw them all in that other spot over there in the herbs. If you wanted to see me seeding the garden, here's a link. But um, yeah, I'm not gonna do that next year because that's how I waste a ton of seeds because a lot of the seeds from those herbs, I, again, I put all my eggs in one basket and I freaking threw all the seeds in there and now I'm getting no sprouts. So with special herbs, special herbs, I'm going to start planting them in pots. So notes taken for next year. But I do have some cumin coming up. So it might work. It's just a colder weather plant. It likes the uh, likes the warmer months of the year. So, but uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Check out the tomato. I'm just gonna call this the nightshade bed. I mean, it's not just nightshades, but pretty much all this. <laughs> well, the peppers are doing fantastic. The tomatoes, if you've seen them last time, they've com like completely doubled in size they're loving it now and i planted those sun gold seeds now i have too many popping up i have one two three four five six seven eight eight the eighth one is doing really well and i'm just going to leave him in this spot because yeah he's completely away from the other ones and then i can actually do some trimming on this guy he's making these kind of leads here the suckers I do need to do some trimming so but I do oh I planted the pepperick and I think that's what those are so fingers crossed we get pepperick yeah we can harvest it and plant paprika <clears throat> that's what I meant to say anyways speaking of plants <laughs> holy I'm going crazy check out all the basil all of these, there's a dark opal basil and the regular, I think, sweet basil, something like that. Basil nonetheless, tons of it. No, basil is a really good uh, plant to be growing with tomatoes and peppers because they're companions, companion plants. So that's really cool. We're gonna have so much basil. So we barely had any last year. Check out the parsnips. Everything's starting to boom now that the sun's been coming out like crazy. Another tomato, the Bonnie Best. There's tobacco, and there's some some suckers there. Let me take off. This is the uh, Ahus tobacco. Beautiful. And uh, these guys are just doing whatever. They're not the asparagus. They're not really going to do much for a few years, which is. Uh, unfortunate but they just kind of pop up these little shoots for now so let's we'll see how that goes speaking of tobaccos this is the virginia gold he's doing all right kind of small but i think she'll be all right and we got tons <laughs> i planted tons and tons of random tobacco seeds but all the ones that are popping up seem to be the freaking mapacho which is actually what I want because that is the ancient variety that's been used by South Americans tribe South American tribes and, and Native American, Native Canadian tribes of many different peoples. So it's pretty intense. Um, it's not meant for smoking. I'm not, maybe I'll have a bit in the pipe for uh, the prayer pipe, but either than that, it's my, mainly for offerings when I go out and forage and stuff, so. And we got this other tobacco that's apparently edible tobacco. Uh, I don't know if that, it's like true, but apparently it says it's edible, and, and then it also said that it's still addictive, so whatever. You know what, tomatoes have nicotine in them too. Anyways, uh, look at this, they're popping up. Little ones, let's see how that goes. Beautiful marigolds. This is all the sorghum. It's really getting tall now. That's exciting. And when I planted the uh, pumpkins and watermelon here. All these little ones are the watermelons. And check out the pumpkins. That one, I don't know what happened. Why it's with that guy. He just popped up like crazy, but that's pretty exciting. 
again, I don't know if this dirt is very fertile, so, um, because it wasn't my supply of dirt, I got it from the uh, landlady, so, um, we'll just see how that goes, but, eh, little amaranths are coming up, and took, took freaking months, but look, another one of the cucumbers decided to show up, don't know why, but it did, and the peas, like, what, like I'm saying, the peas, they look kind of small, and they're getting kind of yellow at the bottom, a little early, I think, but it could just be me, I guess we'll just wait and see, if you have seen the peas last year, they're insane, they got crazy, but I planted them in the back here, so, they had a lot more room to grow, more light, oh, this is kind of fun, so, chia, chia is a mint, like other mints, the, the mint family is a crazy variety of plants, like, oh, I love it, but, these are just seeds I got from Superstore, that I used in my smoothies, so I was like, hey, why don't I try growing them? <laughs> well, y'all seeds are fertile, so thank you. Thanks for providing me some chia to try to grow. That's pretty neat. And carrots, looking great. I got the other brassicas, cabbages are doing good. Uh, there's an aruglia that I noticed, which is awesome, because my aruglias failed this year, which is sad. Which actually, you know what? Speaking of that, I actually went to go buy arugula seeds to specifically put in this pot so they're coming up now because i love arugula and i i don't want to go a year without it that's really sad it's my favorite green so i'm gonna try i know it's going into the warmer months but it might work i put these check out the check out the crocs anyway but i put these brassicas i transplanted them here from that other bed and they're kind of sad but this is the dirt from that I dig out of there, behind the compost. And it's really fertile dirt, but it's uh, very clay, very much like a clay soil. You can just tell the difference from the garden soil and the, the soil, like just very clay, but they might do all right. Somebody was eating them, but the artichoke's doing good. And this is a, a weed for people but it's edible and I haven't really had it growing around the yard so I'm just letting it grow here because it's really tasty actually believe it or not oh and for some reason okay freaking I can never find actual wood sorrel anywhere in the wild here and it decided to pop up it decided to pop up in this pot for some reason so I really wanted to get big so just wait and see. That other choke is doing good. More beautiful flowers. And three sisters. Oh, fantastic. I'm so happy with this bed so far. One thing though, I planted uh, patty pan squash here and uh, spaghetti squash over here. And that, those patty pan squash seeds don't really seem to be very uh, fertile. I planted them a few times and never really got much success. So none of them are popping up on this side. But it's alright because we got four of the spaghetti squash. And they're just going to spread out through here. And we have so many plants in this bed already. Like, oh, it's amazing. The Anasazi corn's doing really well. We got two varieties of pull beans. You can tell these ones are darker, these ones are lighter. I don't really know what the difference is yet because I got both seeds from my dad, from what he grows. So, but they're gonna do, they're doing really, really well. They're also coming up on this side. Oh, that's so awesome. So we're gonna have tons of beans. And this is a Swiss chard. Just popping up in the back here. So I'm just gonna leave them there. This is kind of fun. Because they're kind of still weeds in the garden. I've had to clean up so many of them. Oh, this is kind of fun. So we got these uh, cans of soup. And they came with little tomato seed packets. So we just stuck them in here just to see what happens. I thought it would be kind of fun. We don't know if we'll get anything out of them, of course. But why not try? They're provided. So. Wildflowers. Look at this. These guys, 
Got some new flowers popping up. <laughs> Very pretty. But yeah, lots, lots of flowers. And for some reason, we're not really getting any any of those uh, melons that we wanted coming out of here. So this is notes taken for this area too. Not a vegetable area. Wildflowers. This is all going to be the wildflowers. So, oh yeah, and this this guy's doing really well. There's a freaking. Don't need you there, but they're doing good. The irises have finished their season. They're all done for the year. Jeez. Came and went real fast. Check out the rhubarb. Look at this. Look at the size of this. That's, a, that's enough seeds to provide to all of town, the entire town. Well, maybe not, but I'm just saying, like, holy, that's ridiculous. The random seed garden is doing really good. It's looking random as usual, but I, uh, the uh, seeds, the nettles are coming out, which are really nice, actually, to cook up and just, you can eat them raw, too. And I don't really get stung. But that might just be me. And the radish flowers are starting. I did plant... I've had some random uh, cannabis seeds, actually. Unknown if they're male or female. But I'm not growing them for the flowers. I'm growing them for the leaves. Because they make a delicious tea. And you don't get high from it. It's just a delicious tea. And you can also cook them as a vegetable. And I'm disguising them as sink foil. Not like I really need to. Because it's legal. Uh, here where I live in Canada, but it's also just kind of It's an experiment. I don't know if it's really gonna work, but I got a little sprout So we'll just see how that goes. It's just for funsies. I like it And yeah, there's the hole I've been thinking anyways Ooh, Storms are rolling in but check out <laughs> See, this is what I mean by this brassica garden was a complete, well, I guess not a complete failure, because look at all the flowers that we could harvest for salad. There you go. Positivity. Um, yeah, but I'm just saying, like, what the heck? Same thing with this bed. My mistake, and I take full responsibility for my actions. But I can still, um, I might just get rid of all these eventually and, like, wean out some of them, maybe to grow bigger if possible but a lot of this I'm gonna just chop them and do micro grains freaking salad because it's kind of ridiculous and maybe I'll be able to grow other plants in here for the uh, the August planting season so we'll just see how that goes but again more notes taken for next year I've learned a lot this year that's for sure there's been lots of uh new things I've been discovering and I'm adapting and growing and learning more how to grow better garden and it's very exciting so but yeah thanks for watching this uh, update once again and uh, yeah oh wait I almost forgot I'm sorry I almost forgot I almost forgot this our grapes check it out we're getting bundles of grapes this year. Tons of them. Everywhere. I can't even count how many we have. Because there's so much. And they're down here. So, I'm really excited about that. I really hope we get tons of grapes. That would be really fun. Really awesome. I need more fruit and more loaf. Yeah, look at all that dill. Well, that's pretty much it though. Again, thanks for watching this update of the Urban Permaculture Garden. I'm learning a lot this year. Yeah, so stay tuned for more updates and more crazy other bush camping videos in the future. So like, comment, subscribe, whatever, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.